On this episode of The Cocktail Spirit, The Cosmopolitan, a quintessential modern classic. Welcome to The Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. We're going to do a short series of episodes talking about modern classics. Now, what does it mean for a drink to be a modern classic? Well, I think to be a modern classic, A, the drink needs to taste really good. Uh, B, bartenders need to know about the drink. C, customers need to know about the drink. And D, bars need to have the ingredients so they can make it. If you've got a drink that's a modern classic and most of the bars you go into can't make it because they don't have the vanilla-flavored hibiscus lemon syrup, well, you're not going to get it. So drinks need to be approachable from a broad set of reasons. Now, according to many people, the most recent cocktail to achieve the status of modern classic is probably the Cosmopolitan. Very simple drink, very simple ingredients, one of which is cranberry juice that maybe around the time the Cosmopolitan is coming out, they, a lot of bars might not have had it. But now a lot of bars stock it basically so they can make the Cosmopolitan. Now, the Cosmopolitan has an interesting history. To a certain extent, we don't know exactly where it come from. However, Cheryl Cook from Florida appears to be a bartender that back in around 1982 originated the Cosmopolitan when Absolute Citron came out. She decided she wanted to take and try to make a drink using it, and so she came up with a drink using Absolute Citron, uh, cranberry juice, roses lime juice, and triple sec. Now, that drink started moving around a bit, and gradually other bartenders heard about it, or customers asked them to make it, and two different bartenders, unbeknownst to one another, took that okay recipe, it's triple sec, roses, lime juice after all, um, and tweaked it to make it a really good cocktail. One of the bartenders was Toby Ciccini, who wrote about in his book, Cosmopolitan. Now, this book is not necessarily a bar recipe book. It's more about Toby and his experience of becoming a bartender, in which he also talks about the Cosmopolitan and how he took and made a great drink out of it. Another person that also took the Cosmopolitan and beefed it up a little bit was Dale DeGroff. Um, At the Rainbow Room, he took this drink that had triple sec, roses lime juice in it, and decided, gee, you know, that's got the pattern of a really good drink. How can we make it a really good drink? Well, he switched out triple sec for Cointreau, and he switched out roses lime juice for, well, real lime juice. And that's the drink that basically took off. And Dale, by a lot of people, is credited as a creator, even though he wasn't. He wrote about it in his book, Craft of the Cocktail, and that's the drink we're going to make for you right now. We're going to start off with one and a half ounces of absolute citron. Now you can use any of the the lemon scented vodkas out there, uh, but I think a plain vodka doesn't quite do the right trick here. You want to use one of the citron flavored uh, vodkas. So one and a half ounces. And then we're using a half ounce of Cointreau. A full ounce of cranberry juice. And then a quarter ounce of lime juice. Now, quarter ounces are kind of hard. I mean, I've got this nice little jigger here um, that is a a half ounce on this side and three quarter on this side. The half ounce jigger does have a little line on the inside that specifies where a quarter ounce is in it. I have a hard time with that because you've got to carefully look at it. And if you're in a bar that might happen to be kind of dark, it might be hard to see that little line in there. So I Definitely, on these type of jiggers, don't like using the midlines that they might include in it. I'd rather actually have a real line that I can measure against. I've got this set of jiggers here, which has a quarter ounce mark in it. Uh, or I've got this oxo jigger here that I use an awful lot that also has a quarter ounce mark in it. Um, the quarter ounce is like at the 
bottom of the jigger and it can be kind of difficult even though you got a line there it can be difficult to work with because it seems like you're you've got all that space to pour into fortunately an opportunity is to take instead of using jiggers use teaspoons instead a quarter ounce happens to be one and one half teaspoons and so you can take one and a half teaspoons you can measure them individually or another way of doing it is just measure them two side by side like that Pour your one and a half in like that, and then you've got your quarter ounce. Now to that we add ice. Give it a quick solid shake. Take our pre-chilled glass and pour it in. Now, one of the things that Dale does with his version of the Cosmopolitan that is slightly unique is the garnish on the drink, rather than being a simple twist, he takes and cuts a small coin off of an orange like that. doesn't need to be very big. It's about the size of a half dollar per se. Holds it in his fingers like this and then using a match he'll light the match and express the oils over top of the match to give a nice little flame. It roasts the oils before going on to the drink and so adds another little nuance of flavor. Let's check that out. I like to let the sulfurs of the match burn off first. Heat the outside of the orange peel up just a little bit. And garnish in there. Make sure the orange size is up. That also adds some of the oils that were expressed on the outside to it. And there we have the Cosmopolitan as presented by Dale DeGroff. It's really a delightful drink, and the, the orange essence, I'm getting some of that smoky orange oils coming off the drink, as well as just some of the raw orange oils as well, which I think is a really excellent nuance to the drink. Now, for a lot of people, the Cosmopolitan may be a drink that, oh, not the Cosmopolitan again. That's just so trendy in the past. It's, it's not really a drink I want to order. One way to revive the Cosmopolitan for you might be to switch out the vodka for gin. Myself, I like that drink a lot better, and maybe you will too. Cheers.